To machine sew on a button, you need two attachments. You need the button sewing foot, and you need a feed plate cover. Before you can sew on a button, you have to thread bobbin thread through the plate cover. Slide open the plate. Position your plate cover, snap it into place, and close the slide plate. Now change the foot. Mine is a screw-on foot. Some feet snap on. Okay, now set your sti stitch width at straight and the needle position to the left. My needle can be in center, right, or left. The needle is in left and I like to put my stitch width length at zero so that it's not continuously bonking on the plate cover. Machine sewing is appropriate for flat buttons where you have holes. You can have two holes or four holes. That's fine. You can't sew with a machine on a shank button. This is a shank where you sew by passing the needle through the back of the button. It will be standing up over the fabric. Position the button under the foot. Lower the needle into the center of the button hole, the center of the button hole. Now you can put your presser foot down to hold it into place. Turn the hand wheel towards you to raise the needle until it comes out of the needle plate. The needle is now above the button and above the foot. Move your stitch width selector for your zigzag until the needle is over the other hole. Using the hand crank, lower the needle into the other hole. I like to check by hand stitching one or two more stitches to make sure that I'm at the right width. Then you can use your presser foot to stitch six to ten stitches. End with the needle on the left side. To fasten the stitching, move your width back over to straight stitch. and just stitch up and down three or four stitches. To remove your work, pull up the presser foot, raise the needle, and you're ready to cut your threads. Cut in front, and cut in back.